Uh, you might see something strange roaming around the subway pretty soon. Yeah, New York City is now turning to robots to help patrol the Times Square subway station. Each bot is equipped with cameras to send live video and other intelligence back to the police department. It's in technology grand. Here's Iowa News reporter NJ Burkett. The newest member of the NYPD weighs 400 pounds, gets paid $9 an hour, and works midnights without a single complaint. And transit commanders couldn't be happier. Welcome to New York City, K-5, and welcome to the NYPD. K-5 is a robot that will patrol the Times Square subway station in the overnight hours. Equipped with multiple cameras and two-way communication, intended to deter crime and to capture crimes in progress, and equipped with a panic button that riders can use to alert patrol officers. We are taking an expansive camera network in the subway system and adding to it, supplementing to it, if you will, and adding a series of cameras that not only moves, but a device that can connect subway riders to immediate assistance if the need arises. The number of daily subway riders now tops 4 million, the highest number since the pandemic. Crime underground is trending lower, but the number of violent assaults is still more than 50% higher than it was just four years ago. I'm ready for my close up. The NYPD is ramping up its use of robotics, from dogs to drones to tracking devices. This call may be recorded for your safety. And now, robots. K5 is being leased from Nightscope, its manufacturer. It has facial recognition capabilities and listening devices, but Mayor Adams insists neither will be activated. While I believe it is our duty to utilize state-of-the-art technology advancements to help keep New Yorkers safe, I believe we must do it wisely and not intrusively. K-5 will be accompanied by a patrol officer for the first two months of a pilot program, mainly to answer questions from curious riders. A solo deployment expected just in time for the holiday tourist season.